Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachooks and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today not the first time where you see our program, we already bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as we drop all over the world. So for now, I'm we'll start with today's news. All right, so Jamie Carragher will be one of the football pundits out there. So Baba Kondi talk about the match where Arsenal play against Bayern Munich yesterday. Baba Kondi of the opinion say even though Arsenal lost, Bayern Munich are not a better team than Arsenal. The same way because when they talk about Arsenal, they talk about Man City. Even though Man City also lost, Real Madrid are not a better team than Man City. Say now so football B. Most times, not be the best team, then they end up winning the competition because. He said, I can't go back because I don't watch the Madrid match, but after our own match, I can't watch the extended highlights version. Um, Real Madrid really, really suffer for Man City. And at some point, Man City get 14 corners. Real Madrid get zero. As in, they really press Real Madrid. Now, just Real Madrid defended with their lives. See chances where Man City lose. Chances upon chances upon chances. Oh, it's what it is. And that's what I was telling people about Arsenal not having the option of going long. Look at how many crosses put them cross for the island. Baba not, not, not even not Jamba. They were just unlucky on the night. So coming back to what Spain Karaga is saying, say at the end of the day, we will take hearts. Say that so football is very, very frustrating, very, very annoying. You get so we'll just take it like that. So it is what it is. Now when you look at the match we played against Bayern, for that match, we don't really do so much. And why we didn't do so much? Now, because this Bayern side, they actually play defensive football. Bayern no commerce are completely attacking because they know say Arsenal they very very good. They they mark um, uh, Saka, they mark Martinelli out. Like Bayern did not make it easy for us the way they set up. So it is what it is. It don't happen. We say it don't happen. We don't lose. All I have to say to Arsenal fans now is say, but we just take hearts. This Champions League we see now. Maybe the last seven years never played the Champions League. Now we don't enter, we finish for round of eight. Abi, we still try. We don't come up and say we don't come out. Then let's see next season. Because me and you know, say Arsenal actually need a striker. Forget all this Gibre Jesus, all this Gabriel, all this in Keta. We don't have a striker. So this is one of the areas. If not the only area I said we at the time strengthen for the summer, it is still something. So we then bring a formidable striker. It is still something. Now, what's it mean? They think say, if the feet do for us at the end of the season, now some people say it will still wipe away our tears. Get and people they say the show came late. Oh my, the show came late because this if I slept late. I don't forget my phone hotspot day on. The hotspot just override the Starlink, but we are back in Starlink now. So I was talking about uh, making and uh, why the show comes late because this is a bit too easy for me. This is a bit more be now. You get so, but I, I, the show must go on. That's one of the students teach us for school. Say, so no matter how you feel, no matter whether you're weak, whether you're tired, no matter, the show must go on. So it just it is what it is. So what could just take hearts? It don't happen, but say it don't happen. Now, enough of all this um, blame, name blaming, scapegoating people, you get. Boku, come on, mind. I hope you guys can see me well now. You can hear me. You know, all this scapegoating, blame this, blame that. As we proceed with the show, I will let you know so many things, so many people talk. Even some of our legends, people with them, they blame. This one, do this, this one, do that. That one don't pass. You get. Time don't come up for auto. They blame everybody. Now, what could they prefer solutions? This is not the time for blaming. What could they prefer? What could they prefer solutions? That's the way me, I decide. But about this match, what you just take and say it don't happen. This season, the only place where me, I feel, say, we get problem, and that's striking department. For the full back row, I think when Simba comes back fully next season, Simba will feel, of course, address that left back. You can play there. You can handle that place. I don't think we have a problem with full back for now. Once Simba don't come back, he gets. Then, where we really get issue, where they need to spend money in a cover for Saka, 
cover for that striking department. Not just a cover, so the main person will be the number one. The people like Gabriel Jesus can be number two. You get that the way we're supposed to do it moving forward. If not only they have now even now 150 million, give us men, men strong man. A good thing for that place. Now the only way I feel say we will get future, and I think myself understands this because what happens if he pay now. Now what's in I know say he pay now. So some people talk about the comment section say the solution is to bench Kai Habers. Baba, as of now, as of now, look at our 2024 calendar season. Maybe Kai Habers they they help us to do some things. If we bench, how we go play? The same person where you say me they play, me they play the resources. Now the same the resources where we say them play. As now fans were complaining, I think I come from Mota and I put Kai Habers. So body Kai Habers so. Body the they are not good. Body my in they are not good. I'm telling you, everybody we have is not good. You are saying put uh, this one. Ahead of next season, we will bring somebody better because craziness or madness is when you keep doing the same thing, doing the same thing, and you are expecting a different result. So we need to do. So. If you want something you've never gotten before in your life, which is winning the league, winning the championship, because don't tell winner like 19, 20 years ago, they need to do something different also to actually get that thing you've not really gone. So now do with me, I didn't say man, to be honest with you, Ateta understands this and will shock you for instance in the end. The kind of people Ateta will really say the one said, you say, you know, go believe him. Now, funnily enough, when you check the reports from Maka, so remember it beats Man City. So remember when they explained to Maka for the press conference, say they studied the game. Okay, but we can read exactly what's in the post. The coaching staff studied Arsenal defended versus Man City at the Etihad and used it as a reference. I can't quote Maka because now Maka now actually posts the story. Now, what are they trying to say? Real Madrid, go watch Arsenal play versus Man City. See how Arsenal nullify the threats of Eli Haaland and everybody. They can't deploy the same tactics. God so kind, they can't score their first goal. And the score that anybody can kind of swear me this, but they just lock up everywhere, deploy Arsenal tactics. Man City try all their possible best. Now, like some something minutes before they can't break the deadlock, but lock no their side, they can't still lose for penalty. Yes, so it is what it is because to beat Man City, you know, easy. That's why I went to the city and play the low block. People they laugh and say you go play low block. You know, they're easy to come out this Man City. Now, away from that, so Florian Plettenberg will be one of the journalists for Sky Sports Germany. But back on the commercial, they confirm the Arsenal have made contact with entry and Frankfurt for a deal to sign William Pacho, will be one of their centre backs. Now, who is William Pacho? This is a picture for those that don't really know the player. The 22 year old centre back for entry and Frankfurt is a left sided centre back because that's one of the areas where we need to strengthen also because. If something do Gabriel Mogales as in day now, we don't really have like for like defender. We be men men defender. We will come replace and now give you. Now go call person. And the way things stand, and not many people have that much confidence in Jacob Kivio. So that's why I think that they try to okay because part of the the reason we make most of all these are players they play every game, every game, every game because we don't have adequate cover and that is where burnout, tiredness, fatigue comes in. If to say we get like cover. Second of all, they play every game. That's the truth. We say we get a distance cover. Second of all, they play every game. The man is going to play every game. Saliba and Rebecca is going to play every game. Sometimes they will need to be rested so that they will be fresh. In look at Bayern, for example, despite just come out their injury problems. If Bayern get a clean bill of health, Bayern get Serge Gnabry, they get Lorenzani, they get Kinsley Coman. They still get Guerrero, they still get Jamal Musiala, they still get Thomas Muller for bench. If they, they come out against the coma, they're going to put Serge Gnabry. If they come out like Rossani, they people Guerrero. These are players when you say they're good, you get. So that's part of the decision we will not get. If you come out, Saka, I was hearing, I think it was Babasato or somebody say, for come out, Saka. I asked one question if you remove Bukayo Saka from that Manchester, who do you put? Who do you put? When we say you said you go get confidence that this person will be change match. Now, Rhys Nelson. Now you want put there. I've been a Gabriel Jesus. One put there. I've been a Fabivera. One put there. We don't have quality. People were mentioning, hey, why not bring in Smithro? Who is Smithro in the grand scheme of things? We're talking about the number. AJ, in fact, if you get on this one, we're talking about people with the vets. See, people like Smithro, people like Nelson, people like Gabriel Jesus. Under normal circumstances, all these people are not supposed to be here. Under normal circumstances, under normal circumstances, they're not supposed to be here. 
But because the circumstances are not normal, imagine Ateta having a bench of Thomas Party, of this one, of that one. He cannot bring them in because he doesn't trust these people. So now part of the things, growth, you see growth, growth is painful. Now when they go through that pain, for us to get to where we are going, just like person want to build muscle. You know, before you build muscle, if you don't lift it, lift it, all you're going to pay, you're going to pay, you. your muscle will come break down, your muscle will come repair itself before you're going big. Now that same thing we're supposed to do for us. When you look at our bench, when you see some kind of nonsense, how is your nanny? What's the nanny doing there? You can't let people do for our bench. You say, by now, we're supposed to run the right there at least. Say, maybe they just tear their contract, maybe they go. We don't even need to sell them. Maybe they just they go. Say, we don't need them again. In Ketia, um, we don't get bench. We don't get bench. In the under normal circumstances, most of the people you are seeing and asking are not supposed to be here. Look at the amount of spent in buying Declan Rice, 105 million pounds. To get that type of Declan Rice quality as a Saka replacement, can we spend that kind of money? If you want to buy a, a, a Pedro Neto now, how much do you think you spend? But that Pedro Neto is your own issue now, saying they get injury problems. Okay, you want to buy a Victor Biocaris. How much do you think it will command? Was it not yesterday? I believe first the Fabrizio Romano was saying the reason Arsenal is running away from Victor Sima deal is because the deal is expensive. Why will it not be expensive? If you are looking for an elite striker, you are looking for an elite player, it will not come cheap. This is what we got in the plan rise for 105 million pounds. It took that is just the thing, but the, the sad part is we don't have that money to spare because of the profitability and sustainability regulations. We can't spend that money, even though our our owners are billionaires but they can't just give us the money and say go and buy because of the laws if to say everybody if you just go buy you can say we just go buy everybody because you can say the richest club in the world football speed they will just go buy everybody but you have to spend according to how you earn so the part of the problems where most people don't understand people say eh, eh, need eh, two defensive midfielder as i need two center back as i need one striker as i need one midfielder what's the money day what the money day to go buy all these people so we need to start from somewhere Start from somewhere. If not the striker pumping one round 20 million, if now Simeon, if now whoever, make it shall be a big like bully people for us. Ah. When was the last time we get somebody like Elia? Look at that in Madrid match. How many nodding? Because you need an it, you need a different outlet. Tiki Taka cannot do it for you. As Arsenal did now, people don't remember or people keep forgetting that many teams so will they play. They respect us by playing defensive style of football. You only play defensive against a team you perceive is superior to you. That is why you use a defensive approach against them. And when that thing happens to you as an Arsenal player, the only alternative you have is to go long. Look at yesterday. We did not have that opportunity to go take it. We only had like maybe two shots on goal. Why? Because they nullify the midfield, choke everywhere, gang, mark our players. The extra outlet we're supposed to get now going long now when you go long who are you going long for who wants to nod it i have us is just lanky and soft we need strong men you need ivan tony victor Sime, victor Bukir. you need like people get more so say the fit jagba defender you need Harry Kane. you need lewandowski those kind of like people jagba people for you that is what we are missing so that our front line we don't get more there you need more you need the powerhouse yeah, you need it that we know next. Give it that option. Say, okay, take it that I no work. Go long. That's what we are looking for. That's part of the issues we are that they face. And I want to believe. Say, I that I go address this thing at the end of the season. That's what me I want to believe. If you know address and then he's not sensible, he doesn't know what he's doing. That the way me I say, even Fabrizio Romano say, come come second, they also they talk say. For this uh, Pacho, William Pacho, we asked them one sign we uh, Florian Plattenberg got already confirmed. Say yes, say the team not true. Say Arsenal are really, really interested in signing him. But the problem is, say, not really Arsenal, they go for the player. Even Liverpool are there in the grand scheme of things. Liverpool said they're seriously interested. In fact, that Fabrizio Romano called the letter to say the deal is going to be costing 60 million euros, about 60 million euros with Arsenal one signer. And that is just the thing. Where all this money won't come from? You know, they easy as we think. Um, uh, today video go long, go so many. I just bear with me because I get plenty of things to talk about, and so many stories they down. So, man, I just bear with me a bit. So, now moving on, on to other stories. 
uh, give me sports going let us just say ask now one address at that contract situation for now you guess because i think that has a few years on left of this contract so the one address i'm uh, no problem i don't get any issue with that i don't see many people they talk that out that out, out it's just because then they're angry based on what thing happened once your mind don't calm down you'll find out say oh my is the best man to take us forward how many good manager are they for markets there how many manager the good work we don't do from where we did to where we did now see one more could just through we are more will start from the building we will start from scratch because once you need to remember is any manager will enter here and i go scatter the philosophy what they do and go and start from scratch you get so i still think if then give ateta the utility we need ateta will still do better because baba no get striker that's just the truth baba no get striker yes so that's so why the be so much just to see how things unfold now thomas tuchel on the other hand come come as i can explain how he take nullify the arsenal threats you get so now what the teacher so teacher call, okay first of all teacher call, we talk say arsenal are elites but the major problem where arsenal gets we say arsenal lack experience for this stage oh we did now see they lack the experience and i wait to see so they lack experience now make i go into waiting Thierry henry talk for cbs studio cbs golazo so henry after watching the match Henry come back on the fault one of the arsenal defenders you get so Henry called the talk say tommy asunayin go blame for the goal where we actually concede against this bayern munich now when you read the entirety of the report or you go watch the show for youtube cbs golazo when you go see when the studio kitty abdo michael richard jimmy Caraga, henry whether they analyze the Champions League and how Joshua Kimmich actually came and gave us a flying nodding and scored against us. Henry Kondi of the opinion say this Tomiyasu no really like he could have done more to defend against the pace and the dribbling ability of Leroy Sani in the phase of play that ended with Kimmich scoring. First of all, Sani was with the ball on the flank. Now as Sani did here. Sunday don't get the chance to come say in one score. Why don't you close down the gap? Why don't you breathe down on his neck? You can't allow Sunny cross the ball. Guerrero can't recross him before Joshua Kimmich. Like many people, they will they blame. They blame Martinelli, they blame Declan Rice, and they blame Tomiyasu. And this is what I said at the beginning of the show that everybody is saying, don't put uh, Zinchenko, don't put Kivio, put Tomiyasu. I can't ask one question. What if this Tomiyasu would feel saying be a Japanese warrior? What's in Lorisani liquor like a pot of soup? Mwah. What next? Because if it was that match, <laughs> make Tommy has to thank God for, for the tracking back of Martinelli. Sunny finisher. Let's call it a speed a speed. So, even get one way they cross the ball. Tommy has to, I don't know what thing they do. Sunny just chase the ball, wrong go front. Like Sunny is on another level. He gets how many times Martinelli even track back? So, but as the match end, he ends it one zero. But my mom will say, What is that? Don't happen. Mom will stop the blame game because Henry does the para, does they blame everybody, does they talk. It has happened, it has happened. As far as the para, they blame this, they blame that. Let's let's just stop the blame game. Which is don't stop, don't stop. We are looking at a way forward now for the post match press conference. Peter Schmeichel on the interview, make a letter now. Schmeichel can tell Ateta something to say, See, don't you think the reason you are having this problem? without scoring because people are playing the setting up defensive against you that is the truth but people don't see these things people are setting up defensively against us ganging up because they know what we can do now because Lance, don't you think you need a striker you need a proper striker not uh this one a midfield that way they can't convert to striker or this one a wing that way they can't convert to like a proper number nine a target man i think i can disagree because i read the entirety of the report from the metro I think I disagree with what Peter Schmeichel is saying. I think I call it, I think I excuse me say, how can you say we need a striker? When you look at the way we play, that we get the highest goal scoring for the EPL, and you say we need a striker, then they attack their own defense. But no be so then they check him. Because Peter Schmeichel can't even let him know say, yes, you have scored the highest goal in the Premier League, but remember that you scored collectively. You need like a target man, you need you need the focal points. We go did there. Somebody will do hold up. You need somebody there. We will give you all these things. But I thought I just shrug them off. I don't say I thought that you try to protect in team. Because of kind of say I thought that in his heart of hearts, he knows we need a striker. But you no know, one just admits yes. Because at the end of the day, there is no money. Because if there was money, we could have solved the problem in January. 
So, but this time around, since we don't leave one transfer window, we'll not buy. So, at least we will not get some kind of breath of fresh air for our profitability and sustainability, financial fair play uh, regulations and policy. So, it will be easy for us to actually get player now, not just us, many, many people will find how they will take buy some kind of players moving forward. So, that's just what Ateta said. And I don't know what to be in a line of thoughts. Do you subscribe to the thoughts of Ateta when they talk to you because we have scored the most goals in the league? Therefore, we don't really need a striker. Like striking is not our problem. Or you subscribe to the line of thoughts of Peter Schmeichel, who says you need a proper striker, a proper number nine. There, yeah, not just false nine, a proper truth nine. So may do false nine again, a true nine. Now we define. So that's what he said. But they got on the other hand, based on him be our captain, but they got come second talk, say we were not sharp in front of goal. He gets. But one thing they say we will come back stronger. Say the loss. Is very very disappointing. What Odega said is the truth. I subscribe to it 100. We are not sharp in front of goal. In fact, sharp is an understatement. We don't even get how many shots on goal. How many chances we even create to even talk say we did in this space to even white shots. We created nothing. Martinelli could not even dribble Joshua Kimmich. Martinelli could not dribble Joshua Kimmich. May know how bad it. At least once upon a time, Saka got better out Masarui. Go actually dribble that one. Carry and run. Saka still play past Martinelli. Saka still try. What did Martinelli do with Joshua Kimmich there? I don't see anything. I did not see anything he did. So they just gang up, mark everybody out. But it is what it is. It's just somewhat painful to get. It's just very, very painful. Now, Ateta, on the other hand, said, but back on commercial products, a small margins We are what cost us this game. Because Bayern played. Listen to what Ateta said. Ateta said, Bayern played in a manner. They have never played before. Let me say it again. Bayern, I thought I said when you watch the Ateta press conference, the post match press conference, or you read the transcripts, I'm quoting Ateta. Bayern played in a manner they have never played before. That is why, before this Champions League match, the home and away, I asked one question. I said, What if Bayern can't play 10 men behind the ball? That me, I don't see it happening. That because since I've been watching Bayern. I have never seen Bayern play defensively, like approach a game against somebody defensively minded. I never see him. I never since I know Bayern. It's just like since I know Porto. I never see these people doing this thing. But against Arsenal, they did it. The question is why? You only do that to a team you perceive is superior to you. Why? That's what Ateta is saying. Bayern approached the game defensively. The first half was like a chess game. Nobody wants to sacrifice any of their member. Everybody, they very, very cautious. Bayern, they home. They are playing at the Allianz Arena and they are approaching a visitor. Defensive. At some point, after Bayern score, Bayern, they come up players, they put defender, they put Kim in J. With the center back, they come up as Harui, they put Kim in J. Because they want to play five men defense to protect their one. For you to not say, we good though. Let me say we no good though, but the way teams approach us, then they make us that of our goodness. You know, they show because teams they approach us defensively. Now, when that happens, what do you want us to do when, you, when we don't have a focal point? When we don't have a target man, take it off you walk. Take it can cannot walk when everybody's ganging up against us. How will you walk? So that's part of the team we are at it. Now, the interview upon the ask at say, can you shed more light when you are saying? Bayern did something they've never done. They said, look, they, they play defensively. Like, and it's the truth. They play defensively. At home. Come on. Sometimes, this has not seen. People keep forgetting they are very, very young. And we don't get adequate. Imagine we have a striker like Harry Kane. This is the kind of striker Bayern have. Imagine we have that kind of striker. Even the Harry Kane. What did he play yesterday? Before, see, up to when they score. What did Harry Kane play? People keep saying, eh, Saka no play. This one no play. That one. What did Harry Kane play? What did he play? Not be world class striker. How many shots on goal in there before they scored that they are lucky one goal? What did he play? But because they don't win. Whether they play defensible, whether they don't play defensible, like Ateta said, congratulations to whoever won. The same thing Man City is saying, that Real Madrid came out and defended with their lives. I cannot, got uh, uh, Pep talk. Pep said, I cannot talk about, I cannot, I cannot query why Real Madrid will come and defend like this. Rodri, in the post-match conference, Rodri said, only one team came to win, and that team is Man City. Real Madrid came to defend. But at the end of the day, they defended and they won. You cannot, you cannot dictate the way your opposition will approach you. 
Everybody will do whatever it will take for them to win. Porto almost did it against us. We went to the standard to drag out. Porto played defensive at home. Why? That's what, that's what life be. So there's something um, Tuchel said. Tuchel said, Arsenal are an edit team because no matter no matter, I watch Ateta press conference, I watch Pep, I watch Tuchel. Tuchel made one statement. Tuchel said, Arsenal are an elite team. They are very, very good, but they lack experience in European football. That experience that don't do the type of thing with them, they do. Pack the bus and hope for the best. That's what Rimari did yesterday and it worked for them. That's what Bayern did and it worked for them. Pack the bus and hope for the best. Ateta that we know, Pep that we know, they will not come and pack the bus and hope for the best. They will still want to. At some point yesterday, Arsenal with the proactive side, Bayern with the reactive side, which is against the run-up, which is something I never saw coming. But at the end of the day, he worked for your opponent. So say you want to cry. What do you want to do now? Not be the cry. This is Thomas Tuchel explaining how he applied the Bayern Munich blueprints to neutralize Arsenal key men. Now I read this report from the Metro. Tuchel when they explain what he didn't do Arsenal. Now Tuchel say in term Mazarui and Guerrero made a gang mark Bukayo Saka. That is why, if you watch the evening show we'll do yesterday, there's a report that the Sun gave and BILD confirmed. Him. I spoke about it. When I talk, say the paper went to share writing tactics. Say the paper breeze blown because show for camera. For that paper, the right and there say Mazarui and Guerrero go mark Boka Yosaka. They no go give him space. Now, apart from that, Conrad Lima, then tell and say making the pursue Odegaard, no give him any space. Anywhere where they got, they just they follow and leave every other thing. My Mark Odegaard follow and work at everywhere. Team, team, just they follow and if it for me, for that is why you don't see Odegaard for the game. Conrad Lima follow and like say tomorrow, no day. He was breathing down Odegaard. Look at look at the caption of that picture. Lima was breathing down Odegaard's neck all game. That is the tactics of Tuchel. That is what they call defensive dark arts. In European football, follow on, Baba. Just the follow. Anyway, they go for the go peace, follow on. Maybe they go shit, follow on. Anyway, they go follow on. That was the same thing they did to Saka. How do you want to cope? How do you want to cope? If now you be the player, I want to cope. Come right, Lima, they follow you. Whether you hope or you know, hope, one day with you. That is why all they got was missing. So when you, when you, when you cool down, forget the heartbreak. When you cool down, objectively analyze the game. Um, Bayern did what they never did to anybody, what they have never done. Out of respect, it is what it is. It don't happen, we say it don't happen, right? So, I'm not gonna cry over spilled me. So, so far, so good. The biggest news of the day is the fact that Jimmy Carragher is saying, even though Arsenal lost, Bayern are not a better team than Arsenal. At the same time, he said, even though Man City lost, Real Madrid are not a better team than Man City. This is just football, it happens like this sometimes. Will shock you. You get if, if, there's nothing you can do about it. You don't have to say that. So, my dear Salabas, all I will say is those who say they're angry, when I just calm down, eh? Even if not tomorrow, you go take one. When I calm down, life goes on. All we have to do is buy a striker. As of now, take it. Forget say that we don't strike. Let's go for a DPL. We know the striker. Can't have a mind like that. We know the striker. So, at the end of the season, if Ateta and the Kronke is no release money, the NBC, they don't no, no get ambition because the, now we must, we must buy a striker. We must get so let's just hope they do as we wish. All right, guys. So I think it's a fine place for us to call the show and end so that come your way in the evening. So then, thanks for tuning in and my dear mouth. Have a nice day, y'all. Bye.